Hey, yo, this guy is pretty agile. Konnichiwa, my friends. Selavathan here. We're back with another reaction today. Today we're continuing up Miss Marvel on episode four. And you know, quick recap of last episode. We met the clandestines, a group of jinn from another dimension, and they need Kamala's help to basically get home. But turns out that Aisha was a part of the jinn, so Kamala's part jinn. Yeah. The episode had her still kind of um, a bit stressed about not saving the kid fully and really discouraged about whether she can really do this. Now on the flip side, you know, we had um, Amr and Taisha's wedding finally happening. So there was a lot of like um, talk with her, with her mother and her father, and she kept hearing the word family, right? So it felt like she was going to tell them until there was a situation in which the uh, the clandestines didn't want to wait for her and they started to attack. And I started to see that her family was getting threatened from this. It ended off with like uh, the grandmother saying, come to Karachi. So we're probably going to see an episode with her in Pakistan. <laughs> so that's going to be exciting. Well, not going to waste any time over here here just uh, let's get started don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications down below so you know when i upload next and consider checking out the patreon for full on cut reactions of this show and many other things but let's get started with miss marvel episode four seeing red let's go oh we off to pakistan oh oh we off to karachi let's get started <laughs> This is some really, really chill music. Can't even lie. It's getting me hyped in a different kind of way. First time from Pakistan. What makes you say that? Oh, is this is this her first trip to Pakistan? I thought she went before, but I guess this is the first time. After you ruined your brother's wedding, really, you'll be serving out your sentence for years. However, because your nani is very old and she insisted on us coming to Pakistan, I think that we need to call a temporary truce. Shit, she's her relationships are all shattered right now. Family, friends, everything. Children? Yes. Zainab and Oasis, you are taller than I was. <laughs> you are really short. <laughs> <laughs> Kamana! Nani! She has a beautiful name, by the way, man. Sana? Hi, mommy. It's good to see you. Your skin is so dry. Are you again on one of your strange diets? She wasted no time, no time to lecture her, even though they have a very pretty, pretty tattered relationship already. Hopefully she can give Kamala something, something to kind of break open this mystery a bit more. Yes, but it could use a paint job. Yes, and paint Oh, that's a huge house. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> living lavish here. How did she even know that dog though? She's never been here before. This is weird, man. There, there, there's some loose ends here. It's a lot of cool. There's a lot of cool things there. She's a beautiful artist. The only way I can Holy. Holy. Some of those are so abstract too. This is my enemy. Aisha. Your great grandmother. But I could remember of her at least. A am I... A jinn? Of course. At least that is what my father told me. How are you so sure about this? It is not about... How I see the vision, or if you are a jinn. The important thing is that when the bangle was used the last time, it saved my life. On the train. On the train? Yes, the last one that night. Nani, is it the same train? 
The, the one that we're seeing in the visions is the, 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 that train from that night? Yes. The bangle is trying to tell you something, Beta. Kamala. Please stop. Kamala, you lied to me. That bangle is made for something bigger than you. This is stressful. It's like imagining what you want want to do with what you have to do, man. Like balancing that shit. Come on, get up. We have the whole afternoon plan. Lunch at the boat club is in one hour. <coughs> to order of the patio menu. I'm missing the buffet inside. And the AC. Hello. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's I'm late. Okay. It's okay. Rukshana, this is my daughter, Kamala. So I'm like a manti. Kamala. Mm -hmm. Not a typical Pakistani name. It's not. I mean. Well, that's quite many, but she always was a bit of a rebel. Um, oh. <laughs> look, this is where some of Karachi's oldest residents live. Old Town is where many of the refugees first settled when they came from India. Oh, it's a beautiful bit of history. Okay, history lesson's over. <laughs> we should get going. We've got friends waiting for coffee. You know, I thought it might be cool if we checked out the train station. Train station? Why? Where are you going? You know, it's like the first ever gateway where Nani entered the country. Uh, well, we're going. Meet us after. Stay safe, I guess. So, if they're their cousins as well, are they also Jin too? Train station. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Train station. Um, you go left. This way? Yeah, left. And then left again. One more left. And then right. Little, little bit right. <laughs> the worst directions. You go left and right, then take another left and then a right and then up and then down and then right there you're at the train station. And then make another left. Okay, what the hell was that? Found you. I sensed the noor. Hey, yo, this guy is pretty agile. You're wearing a shirt that says New Jersey. What is this look? No one likes the outfit, huh? <laughs> yeah, she's getting so good with these powers. Not a clandestine. You know about them? But you have the bangle. How did you get it from Aisha? Come with me if you want to live. What? <laughs> Just kidding. I <laughs> always wanted to say that. <laughs> but really, we should go. There's someone you need to meet. He didn't know that the bangle left Aisha. Is she still alive? No, there couldn't. No, she couldn't be still alive. There's no way. Welcome to the Red Daggers. Perhaps we can teach you to open your eyes. Very strong hideout game. Well, usually tourists are not allowed. My name is Walid. Your great grandmother's story is of legend. When you're ready, we have much to discuss. The clandestines are not like the jinn you heard about in stories on religious texts. Clandestines and Aisha are from another realm. This map shows you how our two worlds coexist. Is it like an opposite dimension, I guess you can say? There are many dimensions in what? Our that we cannot see. This That's weird. I don't even understand that. I don't. I don't understand any of this. Who is the energy source of that realm? If the clandestines use the bangle to tear down the veil until there's nothing left of it. It says what you seek is seeking you. an important message? I don't know. Who knows? Must have been important to someone. Yeah. Check it up. I fought. <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> <laughs> There's no way these people are gonna be held captive. Go. 
Oh no, and they even got their weapons back? How? Oh wait, I forgot that they produced them out of nothing. He's not coming with us. What? He made his choice. Mom of the year. <laughs> Honest, she just abandoned Kamran. Hi, Nani. Oh. So you found me in my hiding spot. So, you found what you came looking for? It's a bit of an education. My passport is Pakistani. My roots are in India. And in between all of this, there is a border. There's two different kinds of borders, man. Borders between countries and borders between worlds. Do you think you're ever going to figure it out? But what's the rush? <laughs> Promise you my friends are nice, okay? You're going to really like them. Hey, Kimo. Hey, guys. Que se yo? Your name is minced meat. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's Kimo. Short for Karim. All right, you ready for the best meal of your life? Yeah. You like biryani? Yes. I've never really eaten it out of a bag before. That's so weird. <laughs> the Mata is out with her cousin. So I guess it's just you and me here tonight. I mean, why is all this such a mess? Huh? Let me help you. Wait here, wait here, mommy. <laughs> Mommy, I, I think that maybe, maybe it is time for you to start considering coming to live with us in America. <laughs> She's like, the heck? <laughs> the hell are you talking about? I ain't going to America. Shit. I was continuously being shunned by the neighbors because of my crazy mother and her wild theories are they really wild though maniba needs to believe her her mother right here when she tells her her heritage i just thought i'd share them with you i didn't need your stories mommy i needed my mother but could you blame sana though she didn't have a mother of her own how could she know how to be a, uh, the right kind of mother to her daughter Mm. I mean, are you okay? Oh, yeah. You know how mothers are. We believe your genetics could be the answer to why it is that you can shave the new head. Your humanity links you to the matter of this world. <laughs> Now, how the hell did they get to Pakistan so quickly? What are you doing? Go, go, go. People are terrorizing, man. They're just terrorizing right now. The peace has gone. Some of these, some of these stores are people's livelihoods, man. What are you? What are these guys doing? They don't care. That could have been really bad face plant. Ouch. Okay? Yeah. Ouch. So the quick timing with that instinctive like constructs are crazy. Okay. Driving on the 
<laughs> she couldn't drive even automatic. <laughs> she did the same thing. <laughs> How are they so good with the blades like that though? Do they have powers? She's gonna kill him. Yeah, I, I knew. I knew that was gonna happen. It was like either he saves them or he fight or he escapes her. Mala, it's too late. He's gone. We have to go. Where do we go now? It's a dead end. Kamala is just what? Like this can't just be like the the two days of training she did with Bruno, man. Like these are some moves that she's pulling off. And it can't just be the bangles either. Her reflexes are extreme. She's in the past, man. She's in the damn past. Oh, the train station, the last train out of Karachi. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's like she's it's like she's spirit walking right now. Nobody notices her either. There are a lot of people here. Quite a lot. Holy! Man, coolio, guys. <laughs> Miss Marvel, episode four. Don't really understand the title. Don't understand it. Seeing red. Oh, red daggers. Duh. I guess quick recap of that one. You know, we, um. Sorry, not a quick recap. Um, you know, what I what I really liked about the episode, you know, this episode had her and Muniba going to Pakistan, meeting the grandmother Sana. Sana's pretty cool. She knows about her being a jinn, and it's weird because she didn't tell Muniba about it, right? Unless she told her Muniba didn't believe her, but who knows. When you had Kamala trying to figure out what exactly, what that vision was that she saw, and she kept trying to seek you know, the answers towards it. And, and while trying to do that, she meets, you know, those guys from the Red Daggers. Interesting group, I don't know. They, they seem to be a little bit um, undermanned. <laughs> um, the clandestines found her. They started attacking. The chase scene was great. I like that. The fight scene was good too. One, the white dude, don't remember his name, got killed. So happy about that because he was unhinged as heck. And then it ended up activating a vision and now she's in the past. So maybe she'll meet Aisha. Maybe she won't. Or maybe we'll see a backstory. So I'm excited for the next episode. But I think I'm going to end the video off here. I will see you guys around. Take care and have a great day. Bye.